All right, y'all. This workout is going to be powered by Recon Total War. I bought this yesterday, well, a couple of days ago. First time trying it. The gummy bear flavored sour gummy bear. So it's pretty, tastes pretty good. Um, Red Con one. And um, it's also powered by 7 Up. This isn't diet. Everybody knows me. I like to um, work out on a sugary drink. I feel like it helps. So that's what this workout is powered by. Also, fun fact about this pre-workout is uh, a vitamin shop. I don't know about where I ride, but where I'm at um, is buy one, get one free for their products. So not just the pre-workout, but their products. So, and the only ones I wanted was the pre-workout. So I got two of these. So, you know what I'm saying? I bought one, got one free. They're like 40 bucks. So, you know what I'm saying? All right, y'all. It's 2.18 a.m. Um, My favorite time to go to the gym. People call me crazy for it. Yeah, it's a little more dangerous. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter if you're the biggest guy in the world. If somebody been out there all day waiting on somebody, they got to drop on you. You don't see them as well as they see you. Their eyes are adjusted to the dark because they've been out there. So, you know what I'm saying? And they got a strategy. It don't matter if you big. It don't matter if you got a gun. If they got one, they got to the drop on you. But uh, So be careful, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you're a woman or something like that. Not to discriminate. I'm just saying, like, you all more vulnerable. So I don't recommend this. I'm just showing you what I do. So, you know, and why... To avoid people, not just the corona, um, the COVID or the virus, the pandemic. No, it's to avoid people in the gym talking too much. I don't want to talk. I didn't come here to talk. I came here to get it. You don't get it by work by talking and running your mouth. Let's go get it, man. Hi, right, y'all. I just made it to the gym. Um, a little another thing that I was worried about, and they might pull up, but uh. It made to the gym, by the way. But uh, the police had got behind me. First, they was turning, and they got they was in front of me. They were waiting for me to get past them. Like, I want to go get past them or something. And then, hold on, I'm flipping around a minute. Hold on. So, I'm driving. They hit, they coming from this way. I'm going this way. They hit a right, so they going on the same road as me. They hit a right, coming from this way. I'm going this way already. So... Here's them, here's me. I'm behind them. Why's my camera focusing like that? I'm behind them. This is them, this is me. And then they drive it so extra slow. I'm like, okay, I don't want to pass them because that's how you get pulled over. Then so I pass them. I'm like, shoot, they only going 25. And I'm like, I'm not going to be going 25. All my stuff, right? You know, my license, my registration, my tags in the back. So they let me pass them. But then they get right behind me. And I'm like, okay, I got all my stuff right, you know what I'm saying? They ain't pulling me over, I'm thinking they're going to pull me over. So, I get over to the lane I need to get in to come to the gym so I can turn left. And um, I wanted to record that, but I didn't want to start pushing buttons. My phone was right here, down here. And, um, and I didn't want to start pushing buttons and doing stuff and fumbling around with the police behind me. So I was like, man, I want to get them on camera so bad. Like, it's just pick with people. That's another thing you got to worry about. So you got to worry about people trying to rob you or beat you up or whatever. And then you got to worry about them. The biggest thugs in the world. I don't care what nobody says, man. I mean, at the end of the day, man, just picking on people. I ain't doing nothing. I'm driving right. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. So what? You know what I'm saying? The gym open 24-7, so we ain't supposed to be out at 2 o'clock in the morning. This isn't quarantine is it anymore, is it? You know what I'm saying? So I can't be out here. Whatever, man. We ain't gonna waste too much time on that. I got my um McDonald's cup. Put that seven up that I showed y'all. I had about that much ice. And then uh like frozen solid. Um I was drinking what I have my McDonald's yesterday, Phantom. I think it was orange Phantom. And then the rest was um seven, cherry seven up. So yeah, pretty good drink, right? Sugar me too, neither one of them is diet. Care. But I was like, man, if they come into this parking lot, you, they, those people, man. But I don't got nothing against all of them. But um, 
Hey, the bad apples make it bad for the bunch. And the ones so-called good apples in the bunch, they don't stick up when the bad apples do the bullshit they do, then you a bad apple too. Flat out. I don't care what nobody thinks, do or say, man. It is what it is. You're a so-called good cop. You need to be, you know, just like, um, you know, just like a bad woman, bad man, bad woman in relationships. They need to, you know what I'm saying? I'm a good dude. So I'm not going to defend what bad dudes do. You know what I'm saying? A good woman shouldn't defend what bad women do. You know what I'm saying? Everybody always defending each other. Boy, nah, man. Go hit this upper body, man. All right, y'all, I'm in the gym. Got it by myself. Nothing's better than an empty gym. Nobody, nobody, buddy. All right, I'm gonna show y'all each workout. Every, every workout once. I'm not gonna get a scene of everything I'm doing. I'm just gonna get every workout once. Just know I did multiple things. All right, y'all, I'm gonna start with these pull-ups. I'm gonna do different variations, but like I said, I'm only gonna show y'all one of each thing. And I'm going to just get a bunch of reps. This is not weighted pull-ups. Um, I don't have anything but my body weight. Um, and then I work up to that. But I didn't show it. But, uh, well, no, I didn't even do it today. But, I mean, that's usually what I do. But uh, I do this grip, that grip. I'll show y'all all my different grips. And then I, um, I do these pull-downs. And when I do these pull-downs, I usually start pretty narrow. And then go wider and wider and wider. Um, a lot of people would grip the very edge of the bar. A lot of people put too much weight on these right here. No, it's about being able to control it. If you got so much weight that you can't squeeze squeeze at the bottom, stretch at the top, then that's too much weight. You know what I'm saying? This isn't about getting the, the weight from point A to point B. It's about what your body is doing with the weight. Make your body work. Your body doesn't read numbers on the plates or whatever. Your body doesn't know how much weight that is. Your body response to movement the movement of your body stretching and squeezing you know what i'm saying that's how you grow muscle okay that was the 85 i'm gonna go down to 100 and then 120 and 140 like i said i'm not showing every workout but i'm gonna show y'all again what i mean by uh, my hand placement so what was i trying to do right there i uh, went to the hundreds i think i was trying to tell y'all something <laughs> Okay, see how my hands kind of narrow and then I move them out a little bit. You see, you know, you know, you know. So, you know what I'm saying? As I go, because I mean, different days, you're going to feel different. Um, Your body's going to feel, you're going to feel it more on different days in different areas. And, you know, a lot of people try to tell me different, but they don't even work out. So, don't even talk to me if you don't work out, dog. Hey, but yeah, show me. We can take our shirts off next to each other and then you can tell me something. You know what I'm saying? They always be foreign police and be the ones that don't even work out, man. So I do it like this. Sometimes I go underhand, overhand. It's going to hit your back in different angles. Um, also, I was going to do incline bench press, but y'all seen me do incline bench press a million times. Y'all seen me do it. Dumbbell bench press, by the way, um, a million times. So only reason why I'm not showing y'all every workout is because I got to go to work. So I got to get this video ready to go, ready to upload, blah, blah, blah. So instead, I'm going to just show y'all how I get big arms. Those are 27.5s, I think, by the way. I don't go heavy on arms, on curls. Why? Because I want to do high reps, full range of motion, high reps. A lot of guys go too heavy and they end up cheating, and that's dangerous. I know a guy who, um, I don't mean to keep mentioning the guy, but I know another guy too, so I might not be talking about you, bro. But, you know, I know a guy who um, tore his bicep off because he was curling too heavy. 
You know, curls are more about hypertrophy, hypertrophy and high reps. I do hammer curls. I do um, alternating curls. I do all the curls. And that's another reason why I go light. You know what I'm saying? I could easily grab the 40s and maybe even the 50s and go ahead and curl those. But I'll be cheating. Yes, I'm swaying a little bit. I don't care, though. At the end of the day, look at my arms and look at somebody's arms who's going to talk crap. So I don't care. And then I do seat it whenever I feel like I'm swaying too much. I'll go seat it. You know what I'm saying? Meaning doing the same thing, but sitting down is taken away from the, you know what I'm saying? What was I doing right there? The heck was I doing right there? I'm just letting it, oh, there I go. Dang, I meant to edit that part out then, I guess. This is the same scene? Okay, we, this is not the same scene, or is it a different set? That's the same scene. Watch it again, though. Let's, let's explain it in a different way. See my arms? You see the triceps? The triceps are um, two-thirds of the arms, so if you want big arms, make sure you get your triceps, too. This is a bicep movement, but I'm going to show you a tricep movement next, I think. Um, like I said, I rushed through this video, so at the end of the day, um, it's still informative. Look at those arms. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm just coming off a cut, so I'm like 175 right now, and my arms, I guarantee you my arms are bigger than a lot of people that's 200. And if it's not, it's, it's more muscular. If you don't have cuts in your arms, then your arm's not full of muscle. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, I usually would show y'all my bench press, and I wanted to show y'all that, but then I was like, man, I got a million bench press videos, man. Show them something I don't usually show them. I don't usually show them doing my arms. People think I don't do every... I, I work every muscle in the body, but a lot of times you don't see it. I need to do more of that. I, got, uh, I think I'm going to do an upper-lower split this week. Or for a while at least. I think I'm going to do upper lower, upper lower, upper lower. Meaning doing upper body today, lower body tomorrow. Also use these easy curl bars sometimes. I rarely use these. Uh, most of the time I will go with a straight bar. Um, Actually those are 10 pound plates on each side. So you got 10 pound plate, 10 pound plate. That's 20 plus a 45 pound bar. So that's 65 pounds all in all. That's good weight for curls. At the end of the day, it's not about how much weight you can do. It's about how much could you do correctly with good reps. A lot of guys throw on these big old weights and they ain't hitting them right. And they throwing their back all into it. And dog, like you're not really working out like that. Okay, now we're hitting triceps. This is one of the go-to moves I do for my triceps. Grab a rope and you pull down. Make sure when you get to the bottom, you really pull it down. You... You extend or you can lean like that a lot of times I lean a lot of times I stand up straight as long as you're hitting the triceps as long as your arms are to your side and you're going all the way up and all the way down and squeezing with a lot of reps that's gonna hit your triceps all right y'all that's all said and done it's time to go ahead and walk it out you know what I'm saying nothing else to talk about Comment, like, subscribe, share, holler back at your boy. Peace.